So uh, I'll, I'll start it where my memory and my experience starts, because I don't have any memory of anything preceding what I guess we can call a vision. Um, <clears throat> although, like I said, it was more than visual. I felt like I was actually there. Um, but it started off uh, by the bookshelf in what we called the cottage, which was a vacation home. My family, um, it was in the family, and we would go there every year, every summer, and we had a lot of great memories there. So I just sort of found myself there. But there was no confusion or anything, and I noticed my mom sitting on uh, the couch in you know the big common area. And um, so I, I just went to go talk to her and chat with her a bit. Um, now, she had passed away several years before this experience. Um, she was a, an alcoholic. She drank herself to death over many years. It was pretty rough to witness. And towards the end of her life, she kind of had the mentality of a, a child, mm -hmm. at least when she wasn't more lucid. Some, sometimes she would get more lucid and be somewhere back to normal. So, so yeah, a lot of the communication between her and I in this experience was just given to me through a kind of connection that just existed, kind of like plugging in a USB into your laptop or something. You know, now all of a sudden your computer can interact with that. It can interact with the data and it could start using it. When I was here in this space, there was a connection to her and inform information was flowing. Um, and we in understood each other just naturally from that. And the words we were saying, it was all essentially just small talk. We already knew all of the information we had to present. And the reason for this connection, because it was communicated to me, was to inform me of an afterlife. I knew this intuitively. Mm -hmm. And so I asked her, you know, okay, so there's an afterlife then. And again, for all, for all intents and purposes, this was just small talk. And she responded, well, yeah. Um, and there was just kind of like a moment of silence and understanding. And um, then she said, well, I've got to go. I've got stuff to do. And I didn't feel any regret or sadness that, uh, that it was ending and it was over. Uh, I just merely felt that it was nice to catch up. And then, for lack of a better word, I woke up. Um, now, I, I was sleeping. It, it was at this moment I find myself in my room um, where I normally wake up in the position I'm in when I normally wake up. So I must have been sleeping prior to this experience. Um, but it didn't feel like waking up. Uh, it felt like I had been up the whole time and I was just sort of transported to my room. And there were a couple of interesting things about waking up. One is that um, I was worried I had missed my alarm. Um, but uh, when I went to look at my alarm, it turned out that it was exactly the time I had set it for, except my alarm was not going off. Um, and it had never mm -hmm. failed me before or since. And so then I went to start getting ready for my day went into the bathroom, noticed I had a spontaneous nosebleed. So I cleaned that up. Mm -hmm. And again, I've never had a spontaneous nosebleed before or since in my life. 